everybody welcome back tonight we're trying to fix this american flyer whistling billboard as you may have seen in one of my previous videos is not working properly and i'm going to show you this time how it works right now and then at the end we'll kind of compare it you know sound wise here is the uh transformer that i'm using for this this was also one i made a restoration video about i was originally planning to uh sell it but um I've just been using it to test things here for a while, so I figured, you know what, I'll keep it around for now at least. But anyways, here it goes, giving it some power, and we're gonna touch these wires to uh, these terminals here and listen. That sounds like a car with a low battery starting up. If you've heard that before, you probably know what I'm talking about. It is not supposed to sound like that, so we're gonna see if we can fix it. So let's begin disassembling. It looks like first we got a screw here that I gotta take off. And there's tabs over here I gotta twist and then this whole top part should come out. Oh, I gotta take that out too and then it should just drop out. Let's see here. I got a little something back here I'm gonna put my parts in. I know that was another car from the lot I've been working on. I put a new coupler on it. I just need to get wheels for it now. Okay. Hmm. He still needs to go a bit. Okay, I got it out, and a f quite a few pieces came out here. I'm not um, entirely sure if these are factory or if they were put in later, but either way, I'm going to have to reassemble it uh, the way it was before. And I just got to take this off and then twist those tabs here. So, Okay, I see. It is factory. I see it in there. There's a, the same spacer and washer in this one as it was in that one. Well, it looks like uh, these tabs have nothing to do with it. It was just the two screws, but now I'm trying to get um, this out somehow. Actually, these might be of some use because I might need to disassemble the outside. Yeah, I see. I got to take the, all the tabs out, and then it separates the top from the bottom, and then I should be able to get it out. So in order to do that, um, let's take a pair of needle nose pliers, put them on like so, and twist. Twist all four of these, and just so they're straight and even with a little uh, slot that they go in. Just like that, it should come apart. This one's not twisted all the way. Both of them aren't twisted all the way. And they're being a little stubborn. And just like that, there it is. And you could drop that out. And there's the whistle assembly with the motor. I think the lubrication on this may be a problem because it definitely looks really, the pivot looks like it's really dry, you know, and it might just, you know, it might just be kind of seized up a bit. However, um, it may need cleaning as well, but all of those can definitely help improve the performance of this. It's, I will say this, it's a lot smaller of a motor than the ones they use in the locomotives. So that was interesting to find out. Something you have to be careful of. Right here, you got these springs inside of there, on the other side of this tab that hold the motor brushes in. And those will shoot out if you're not careful. Oop. Got it. Those will shoot out and then you'll, oop, oops. You may never see those again. They can get lost really easily. So, just put my parts down the way back there. And then, there you have it. We got that first part apart. You drop it out, and the motor brush comes out, and that's actually in really fairly good shape. I'm pretty surprised. And we'll just do the same to the other side now. Okay, well, I got, I got both of them off now. Unfortunately, that one is that a uh, motor brush is not coming out, so I just got to take these two screws off now, and that should uh, take the top of the motor off. And not only will we be able to clean the commutator from there, but also we'll be able to get that other motor brush out. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the shot here as much as possible. Oh, it looks like we have a wire that came off somewhere. I wonder where that goes. I don't know. That's interesting. Off. And then there those are. Those two screws and that one mysterious one that has something with that wire on it. We'll have to figure out where that went. And then this should come right off. What's that? Oh, we got a washer there. And there's that other 
motor brush I mentioned right in there. So try to get it to come out. There it is. And we got the second one out. Now that commutator is really dirty, so bear with me here. We're gonna try to clean it off the best we can. What you want to want for cleaning commutators, um, I know some people use what's called like a carbon fiber pen or something to clean these off, which works really well. But what I have is just a more simple. I've got Q-tips and rubbing alcohol. And you just use that, get a little bit on a Q-tip there, turn this, and just like that, you rotate it and it kind of cleans it off. As you can see, there's already some grime coming off, so we'll pick this up here in a little bit and see how it is. Okay, I've been doing it for a little bit, and it's gotten a little bit cleaner. As you can see, we got a ton of grime off, so I'm gonna go ahead and get another Q-tip and dip it in the alcohol and keep going, keep cleaning it a little bit. And we'll see where this gets us. I've been cleaning it a pretty long time now, and it is a, it's gotten a lot shinier, I will say that. So, there it is after, I'll probably show a before picture as well. And, uh, well, I think we can pretty much start reassembling it. I am going to see what I can do once it's back together to oil it and see if we can get it to run a little bit better. But, um, so far, so we're good. I'm just going to say this right now. When you reassemble it, it's pretty much just the same as you disassemble it, so it shouldn't be too hard or anything. There's something I want to do before I put it all back together, which is um, oil it. See if we can get it lubricated so it runs a little bit better. And you want to be careful when you're oiling uh, pivots on motors. Let me just adjust the light here, because you do not want it getting on the commutator or anything. So you just want to give it a tiny little drop and that should be good and i'm gonna get the other side as well down here i want to put a little bit more on there because that seems like where most of the problem is coming from but i think it's going to fix it and i get my finger in there and turn oh i can already tell it's a lot better it's even starting to kind of spin a bit when we get the brushes back in there it will be a little bit more difficult but it's supposed to be like that fairly simple you just take your motor brush drop it in each one. Now for now, I'm just going to set the spring on there. Like so. Just set it in there. And I'm going to carefully put these back on. I might do it off camera just because it's a hard thing to do. But uh, I'll kind of explain to you what you have to do. You have to push these down. And this just kind of comes in and slides over it. I might as well just try to do it right here as a matter of fact might be able to do it sorry for blocking the camera I can't really see right now and I'm trying to keep the spring from shooting off somewhere Make sure I can... okay yeah it went smooth and I can do probably do the other one now Let's see if we can just really carefully Okay, okay, I got it back in right now, and um, I think we could probably test it right now to see where we get. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and transformer and and let me plug okay, it in. I got it plugged in right now. And we'll see what we get here. The momentum did that. Oh, I see. I had to cut off the air there. Huh. I'm not sure why, but it's not. It's not whistling. Hmm. I have no idea why that could be, unless maybe. Is it turning the wrong? I think it's turning the wrong way. Maybe. Now that could just be. I wonder why that is. Why is it turning? The wires might be mixed up. That could be our problem. So let me see. I'm gonna switch them here real quick and then come back. Okay, I got them switched up now. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Oh, we're starting to get something here. Here. Um, can you hold this, Tyler? In case you're wondering, Tyler's been uh, filming. That's why the camera's been moving. There it is. Okay, the outer terminals, that's right. Well, it looks like we fixed it, so. I think I can call that a success. I'm just going to reassemble it now, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, probably try it out again when it's all back together. So this right here, this right here explains a lot. That little spacer goes right on there, the washer just below it, and then the bolt goes through the bottom there, and that's how that goes back together. It seems. So just reassembling it right now, and it looks like this just kind of sits in there like that slides on there's a hole there for it and then there's another one back there for the other bolt so i've actually um kind of uh, got that wrong there what actually goes on here is this goes right over that and then you have a washer go right over that and then you get the uh, spacer and that goes right over top of there like that and then, last but not least, <clears throat> this little nut goes right on top of there. Let's see if I can get it started and show you guys. And I'm just probably going to finish putting it back together by hand because the tabs go on the same way. You took them off, you just slide them in and then twist them and just make them snug. And that's how that goes back in so i'm gonna reassemble the rest of it off camera to save time and everything and i'll test it again when it's all back together so i just got this assembly back in now what you want to make sure is this insulator is over any exposed wire that's up against the metal to keep it from making unnecessary contact and shorting it out but um moving on this right here the top part um let me turn this around here just uh these little slots and tabs just kind of go in there like so and you just kind of uh, pop those little tabs through and once they're through you just take the pliers and twist them so i'm going to do that off camera now and we'll have it back together then so it turns out i made a bit of a mistake um i had it hooked up wrong the person it was originally um set up wrong what actually happens is the spacer goes in between this and the uh, the bottom, the base. And then you take um, the other washer and you go over the top. Then you put this on and then hook everything else up. So I got that wrong. I just thought I'd uh, tell you guys that I figured it out real quick. So that's <clears> that. All right, I got it all back together the proper way. And as you can see now, it sits nice and flat. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the cover back on now. And we'll so see. I got all these little tabs back on, and it's back together now. So let's go ahead and give it a little bit of power here. Let me just plug in the uh, transformer. Let's go in. And 
do it again. And eventually I will have, when the layout's, you know, more complete, I will have all this set up on there. And there'll, there'll be buttons for everything and whatnot. It's vibrating on the table a little bit, so that's why you get some of that noise. Uh, let's see if I can make it stop here. So that's how that works. I'm just you know, it's working good now. So with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you wish. Please check out my other videos because that helps a lot too.